What up, gang? Can't Zerk, can't Zerk, man, 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 man. We're back. I'm Persona 5 Royal. Hey, it's me. Yo. I just can't forgive Madarame, but what On said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Uh, I don't know. You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I, I'm not wrong, am I? We're gonna take him oh, down, little man. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Why not? I bought barbecue. I bought barbecue Pringles. Where's the barbecue, bruh? Where's the barbecue? Oko, 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 mm. Oko, Oko, Oko. I'm doing the art model. You're supposed to be naked, aren't you? Cover yourself in paint. Can you at least try to take this seriously? You don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? Sound like Hidagawa wants us to be a private picture of his, though. I guess I'll let you guys know when, it, know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yikes. She got a hold of Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. Oh, yo! We finally landed a big target. Come on. Let's get some dirt on Matarame. Yeah. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Porn. Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? Yeah. I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. I thought that was obvious, though. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Huh. Definitely. You're totally right. Hmm? But I'm the same as always. Are you? Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Sounds like she's interested in bro. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Stop being mad, bro. Dang. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Dang. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. She a little disappointed. Well then, let's get started. Hey. Kitagawa kun? Hmm. You hear her? Hmm. Ooh, wrong. Oh. It's no use. This hmm. isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? He's drawing, shut up! I was supposed to know this was gonna happen. He's drawing, shut up! He's trying to focus on the drawing! Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What a effing pain in the ass. Perhaps 
Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. Yeah! This again. Get the spelling! And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll Look. make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Oh, sure. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Hitago Akun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. <clears throat> I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking I'm here. gonna touch you, bro. Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me... Whoa! I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! I knew it! What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconvenience. He's gonna get beat! Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? You don't got a choice! We'll be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. We don't have much of a choice. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. We don't have much of a choice. Hey, what should we do? We gotta leave, bro. Yeah, damn it. 
He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily. Hey man, my livelihood is on. If I if is she done being if, a model? If if I get arrested, it's over for me, bro. Like I can't risk it. A cat? You moron. He's totally out of his mind. I'm going to have to pose nude if this keeps up. We're going to have to jump in that castle. Dare that you stay. The way he said it, it's not going to be semi but full on nude. <laughs> A full nudity? Uh, Lady Yon's gonna... Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady Yon, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. Yeah. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Cry about it. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Probably. No way. Hell no. We must deal with Madarame, no matter what before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. It's getting hot in here. Changing our so hot. Take off all your clothes! Plan, I'm mind. taking off my clothes! Hideout has been moved to the... Whatever that is. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Sure. Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? She walked right up to the bed, dog. She walked right up to the bed, dog, because she know who run it. She know who the leader. I guess we should go home for today. She know who gunning. She know who got the heater. Hold on. <sighs> Whatever. I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on new, then claiming to report us to the police. I don't blame him. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? Yes, big man. I have some interesting news. Yes, big man. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Why me? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Oh! Nakanohara. That's Madarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Okay, bro. Something said about Madarame. Sound like a student 
of his off himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame. Oh, that's unforgivable. Jen was looking at the Madarame, it could be real, someone died, no one's talking about it, made it be covered up. I wonder if Kita Gawe has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit too much? After the day, it's probably on edge about us. Anyway, Madarame is a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. Yeah. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Nishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about it on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. We changed his heart. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil going to confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right. We got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Oh. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please, Make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Facts. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Let's save Yusuke. Hell yeah. Madarame's just a piece of shit. Yeah! Praise on the weak. Yeah! Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Yeah! Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Yeah! Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new high? Yeah! My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Madarame. We all saw that pass. <sighs> we'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. Furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, 
We secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. Oh, my now fault. listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Yes, ma'am! I kind of want to see it though. I kind of want to see it though. Okay. It's the first job of the Phantom Thieves. Let's make sure we do it right. Let's get the mission started. We finna kill Madarame! Now then. Oh, crap. No sound, the caller card. We know the drill. Now I'm looking at my phone. What the heck? What is that? Come inside. We've much to discuss. Okay. <laughs> so you've come. Your rehabilitation seems to be going smoothly. Thanks to you. Excellent. I expect no less. I've prepared a special gift for you. I must reward such ex exemplary conduct. Use this power well. Each persona has a specific trait, each of which has a different effect. Some may decrease the cost of a skill or increase power. Which actions? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Your personas are born from the mass of your heart. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You must master the inner You must master the inner workings of each persona to draw out its power. Do that and they will surely be of great use to you on your journey to rehabilitation. Then If you have no other business you may tend to it now. Shut up! Oh, that was Justine. She's nice to me. Let me not be let me not yell at her. I want to go back. Hey. Hey, Joker. Come on. Hold on, we Phantom Thieves. We got to be sneaky weaky. They said Zeke got to be sneaky. Hold on, hold on. We, we sneaky Zeke today. Oh dang, now they got security. Whoa. I see it. Hold on, Joker. Infrared laser device. If we touch the security will increase. Come on, man. Hold on, there wasn't anything like this last time. Rumors might be slowly making Monorami become wary of us. Joker, they're not gonna see, but you should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful. How do I ambush? I'll reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form. Machio! 
Darn. All right. Lucky punch. Bro, you suck. Maragi. Stop dancing. Oh, you got it? Get him. Hold on. That was smooth. That was smooth. Excuse me. I believe this could be considered sexual harassment. I, I, I don't think so. What are you talking about? I insist you surrender yourself to the authorities. This is a misunderstanding. Most men say that after the fact, am I not right? I suspect that you decided to hear me out, am I not right? Why have you decided to be more communicative with me? Your looks. I must admit, it doesn't make me, it doesn't feel bad to hear that, but okay. That's how I think we as, that's how I think as we, oh, I remember now. I am not a shadow. I originated from the human sea of souls. I'm Asperis. Thank you, Asperis. All right, let's move on. Oh, I'm about to. I, was, I forgot all about that. I was going to say, what is that? I may be just maybe. Didn't see that there. We'll be in unknown territory once we pass here, right? Security will probably get a little more fierce as well. Don't touch anything or run into any uh, any of the displays, all right? All right. Goodness, she's fast. Holy crap. I can't believe this. I got too reckless. I'll back out and focus on support. You'll be fine. It's time. You're mine. No! Come on, Joker. My goodness, bro. Uh-uh. But this is suspicious. La yeah, hey, wait a second. You're just gonna ignore that golden sheen? Yes! Mm, look at that luster. This is a trap. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? That is a trap. Come on, we didn't come here to... Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Stand back. Oh no, I tripped the security. Ah, uh, you were the one making us be careful too. No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on, Joker's not trapped. Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. You're so stupid! So there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. I hope you know you're stupid. I just want you to know that you're stupid. Oh, he hit me! Me. 
What? I thought I was gonna get it one more! Oh, snap. I think there's a little space between the paintings frame and the wall. Never thought I'd imagine there'd be a butt behind a painting. If only bro listen. Oh. Wait. As I was saying. Hey, what's that? Yeah. Security or whatever's on here. Maybe this will turn the lasers on. No. Look for someone who might know it. I'm about to say, hey, did you hear about those intruders? You ain't mean the thieves sneaking around in here? Got a call telling me to change the password just in case. What you change it to? Hello? Huh? I said hello, 07734. If you read those numbers upside down, they spell out the word hello. It's not a bit sh childish. Eh, it should be fine as long as nobody finds out. Not like anyone's eavesdropping on us. Anyway, don't forget when you. When, when you see the code input, be sure to say hello. Hey. Did you hear that? Sure did. Come on, Joker. Let's say hello to that terminal thing. Hey, yo. Ha! I thought they couldn't see you when you're hiding. What? Nice. Those guys did it. I'm saved. Looks like it worked out. Sweet. Let's grab that stupid cat and get moving. That is stupid cat, bro. Sorry. That was very much unlike me. Sheesh. Why don't you want to tell us not to go around touching crap in the exhibit? It's true, I can't believe I made such a novice mistake, even for solid gold. Something was drawing me to this vase. Mm. Ordinary gold vase. I wonder if there's something special about it. Let's take a closer look. Damn it. Wait. Got a chaos emerald? For real? That's why I was drawn to it. Joker, catch it. I'll explain the rest of this later. Just get after it and attack. Is that chaos? It's chaos. Guess it saw me coming. So that's just a that's the golden one. Those are the golden hands. It got away. What was that? Treasure demon. A rare shadow that occasionally resides in the pricey items. I call them treasure demons. They're great, not only do they give you a lot of experience, but they're useful for your personas. They run very fast and attacks don't deal very much damage. Oh, right here. How was I to get past this huge hole in the... Look where the security guard is walking. I attacked first! Oh no. Huh? Is this... 
Intruders in the second in exhibition room. Apprehend them at once. Let's get out of here fast. Which way's the exit? Let's yeah, he ya. I mean Yahoo or he ya. Uh, Yahoo, yeah, Yahoo. Whoa! That Scotty building over there is kind of suspicious. This is amazing. It's even gaudier than the rest of the museum. It definitely looks like something important will be hidden away in there. Let's go. Let's go find out. No, I want to save. No, I want to save. Whoa. Let me save. Fine. <laughs> we can find out and possibly die. Then I gotta start all the way over. Lasers? There's no way we can get past them. This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious as it is impossible to open from the outside. So it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, what? oh yeah. There's no mistaking it. When we let the same door I saw earlier. Yeah, when I let him search around. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go. Can I? I want to. There's another place I wanted to check out first, though. Let's head back. Can I? I can save now. Thank you. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Our first will seed of the palace. Let's keep searching the area. All right, guys, we can leave now. <laughs> oh, mm. Mm -hmm. now. Listen up, inmate. Farewell. <laughs> Is Jack Frost on my buffoon? The inmate may you wish to perform an What path do you want? Dang, I want a Jack Frost too. I'm finna get my goat. Finna get my goat. I got the goat. I'm Jack Frost, ho. Huh? I know I'm just a mess, but take care, take good care of me, he ho. He ho indeed. That persona. Hey, sit right there. It seems you brought the specified persona. Yes, I did. Huh. Fine, I'll take it. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. I just started, bro. No, I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? 
Me? Hey, are you laughing at us? I ain't even laugh, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe. Know your place, inmate. I didn't even laugh, like. As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. I'm sure. I find it upsetting. Amazing. That you see such a matter as a source of amusement. No, I'm amused because like I'm happy that y'all are so happy for me. You feel me? Like, like knowing that y'all are so happy to see my progress, it makes me happy, bringing me amusement. You feel me? Like. It's like you forget where you are in me. No, I'm I'm just happy. You have like. Guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us, the wardens, and you, the inmate. Not like you have the right to turn it down, though. Hard work is what you're meant to do, inmate. I made a deal with Carolina, Carolina Justine. I am thou. Thou art I. Yeah! Thou hast acquired a new vow. Yeah! It, shall it brings thee closer to the rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the strength persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Three personas? All right. Now, it's time for your next task. Farewell. Ame no Uzume with the skill Frey. Hey. Myriad truths? I can actually just use Myriad truth? Man, we did a lot. Well. Halfway through, I'm starting to get a faint sense of the treasure near. Come on, man. Wait, we ain't even have done? How big is this place? Closing in on our goal. Let's try covering more ground next time we're here. How are we supposed to get past that door? I don't know. You think there's some kind of off switch somewhere? Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Madarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. <laughs> I only went scouting because you were bored. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that going to work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Can't hurt to try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh. Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? Huh? Yeah. We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves We in. would. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. Yeah. Such. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. You know, that might just be the answer. Isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. 
It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? Good luck, on. Why can't one of you guys go nude? He don't want to be penis. Then make it so he does. All you gotta do is trick you, Skay. Have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't have a choice. Uh, God. Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. Alright, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Yeah! Okay. Leave this to me. I'll get it open right before his very eyes. You in touch with Yusuke? He asked me to come by tomorrow. Strip for him on! I am not stripping! Man, this is such a pain. We gotta open that door and have Madarame see it, right? Morgana said it'll change his cognition. Let us know if any weird crap goes down and we'll be there to back you up ASAP. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady On to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. Shut up, Morgana. Hmm? I wanna watch TV, there's a special on that guy they call a, de a detective Prince Akechi. They're still doing the news, you'll make it home in time. You can see his face anytime. That pretty boy's been on TV a lot lately. Hey, hey. Oh. Great artist Marta Ramin's holding an exhi exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? Gone to see his work before, but wow, it's incredible. Charming fellow. Ah, uh, you talk too much. Well then, Lady Anna and I will head over to Marta Ramin's house. On, Morgana. Counting on you. Uh huh. Me and him are banned from going there, so all we can do is wait here. No, you two have something different you'll need to do. What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Mm. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it. What was that? Keep your voice down. Oh, no. It was nothing. By the way, have you gained some weight? Excuse me? You think so? I weigh huh? the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. So then, can you, um, get ready 
here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <sighs> oh. <laughs> that was tight. Tight? No. I'm doing this for art. Don't get hard. Over here, okay? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? I believe so. Don't get hmm. hard. Don't get do hard. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? On, you're not very good at this. <laughs> Must a girl say more? But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? Uh, don't you think it's cold today? I had the chills. I suppose uh. so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. <laughs> True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh huh. That's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. W what kind of poses? Spread your legs! Lady on, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will. Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait. I'm counting on you, Mona. Are you seriously gonna be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. I don't know how she's pulling Plus, this off. We ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Narurame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Madarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? It'll work. I want to think that too, but... It's almost time. Please, uh, can you just wait and... What's past here? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? She looks so stupid. It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere like... Quiet, <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? This is so bad. Stay focused. Hmm? Oh, suck. It's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa kun, do you not like girls like me? 
No, th that's not. How is he falling for this? How is that working on him? How is that working on him? Please. She sucks. I can continue this inside. Sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so. Fine. This is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But. Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. S Sensei! Yusuke? Alright, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's... it's not what it looks like. Huh? Not in there. Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's. Hmm? Yeah! Let's go! We in there! It's off! We in there like swimwear! Hold on! Seriously did it! They're amazing! Yeah, for real. Let's go. Hold on, we in there like swimwear. All right. We in there like swimwear. We finna go and get a bear. We finna go and eat a pear. I'm feeling so like Rick Ross. I feel like the dang boss. I feel like I'ma get a car. Feel like I'ma eat some moss. I feel in like Randy Moss. How I'm finna go floss. Buy me a rich car. I spit me some hot bars. Dun -dun -dun -bop -bar. And I finna hunt like a bot bar. Hold on. Let's kick some tail. Yeah. I'll be counting on you. What is? Who even is Lil Belba right there, man? <laughs> Dang it already! Hey, what do you want to do? Come back later. And again. I just wanted to kind of walk around here a bit. Nothing. All right, let's kill him. Sorry. Yo, you're gonna let us through right now, huh? Who are you? I see that attire. You must be the thieves who dare threaten Lord Matarame. You will be dealt with sexually. Hold on. They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Sona. All right. Come on, Jackie Wacky. Bro is low key a weakling. Bro is a weakling. Things are real tough when it's just you and me. It'd be a pain if it'd be a pain in the ass if we got spotted anyway. Let's turn on that security system. Takamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the? Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudge my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Uh. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it 
resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing, well, they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? Mm. I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? This sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On! This one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. You just said a moment ago that it was stolen. Liar! That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't... It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! And I'll be gone in 30 seconds. Yeah, let's go. Whoa. Ugh, is this? Man, first Kamashita not Madarame. Are all palace rulers like this? Come on, man. Just two of us. We gotta find a way to turn that security off. How do you do that? Hmm. I can steal this. Oh, right here. Hey, look. All right. Now, ladies in the courtyard should be off for good. Mission complete. Let's get out of here. Hey, who's there? Looks like security's totally off. Let's get back and meet up with the others. I hope those two manage to get away. No! Oh, snap! He's cold for that. I figured he was going to fall in with her. Uh, hey, uh, will you let go already? Oh no, I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up. Who are you all? Uh, calm down, Kitagawa-kun. It's me. Kamaki-san. That means you two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. 
What is this place? We are inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? Are you? Look at look at all, all around you, bro. She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Yeah, bro. Still, he has kept me safe these past 10 years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once. Hey, lean on my shoulder, little man. No, it's all right. We need to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. Take your time. So this is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? Uh, this painting! Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Madarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Man. Bro, it's Matarame. <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Matarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. Some setup you got. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your fit sucks! If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. No. The value of art is purely illusion. 
What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist. Uh huh. Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Yeah. Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You help me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. Scum! I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? Bro's about to awaken. I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my Reach out to the so truth, long. bro. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? Oh! <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come, go him on. That goofy looking persona. He a sumo wrestler? Taking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish. Whoa. This is impressive! Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be dead! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? Ugh. How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes. I will bring you to justice. See what you're made of. Very well. Bring it on. You are in the presence of Lord Madarame. On your knees, intruders. I learned much from you, Madarame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With going on by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. 
Get him out of here! Listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. Hey man, I, I can't say I understand because I don't run from the truth, you know, I, I always reach out to it. But no worries, bro, like don't worry about it, man. Thank you. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I've been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me, I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed, but we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me, you mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Bro, just realized. Okay. Oh crap. We gotta get out. We'll talk later. We need to scram. When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Yeah! We're right in front of you! Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words. Especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame, Sensei. With Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? 
Let me join as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Yeah! Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun? It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. Yeah. I'll do my best. Just don't betray us. And no nude paintings, man, all right? Uh, so that was all a plan. Well, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. It wasn't my idea. It was theirs. What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. I haven't given up on that yet, though. Oh, he still wants it! Give it up! Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Matarame. Yusuke He's and I tweaking. were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then, if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? A cat. Huh? A cat. But it's talking. Don't worry about it. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. He's a little stupid. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. <laughs> I like Yusuke. He's gonna be a very entertaining character. Hey. Hope you're not up to no good. Don't forget you're still under probation. Got that one misstep and you're finished. No, no, no. We're doing the right thing. Bro, hop off! Like, I ain't even... Police hear about this, they'll totally get in touch with school. We'll get exposed for sure this time. We'll be the least of our worries. We end up arrested, unlawful entry, defamation. Really can't afford to F it up. We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. Hop off my meat, little man. Let's do it. Woo! Your boy tired. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and read about it. Tap into the next episode. Your boy a little tired, so I gotta tap out for now. I'll probably be back a little later in the day once everything quiets down and I get some more energy. Peace out. I love you guys.